Of all the great movies out there, there's only a few that have ever succeeded at a great part two or a great part three. The Godfather part two, The Dark Knight, Spider-Man two, definitely my favorite. The Terminator two, Judgment Day. But there have also been some real eggs that have been hatched. Grease 2 comes to mind. The Blair Witch Part 2. Horrible. Son of the Mask. Awful. So the movie we're going to talk about tonight is a number 5 in the series. It's hard to believe, but this might be the best one ever made. Sit back and enjoy as we review the 5th Predator movie, Prey, on this episode of Movie Chatter Podcast. <laughs> Milwaukee, it's Movie Chatter. How's it going, fellas and gal? Fantastic. Awesome. awesome. Doing good. How are you, Dave? Really good, really good. Just uh, had a great dinner. Oh, fantastic, <laughs> yeah. fantastic. I tasted Dave, Dave's chutney and it was phenomenal. Oh. A little mint chutney. Nice. Even Mason tasted it, and he went in for seconds. Great. I was What's proud that of him. What's made with? What's your, your primary you make ingredient? Mint, cilantro, lime, garlic. Little Those jalapeno, all... right? Little jalapeno. But what's the what's the base? Chutney is made out of, uh, mine is mint and cilantro. It's greens. It's blended greens. So like a... You add a little bit of liquid. It's like so it a... Is this a, a dip? Like a salsa. It's a salsa. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. a dip. You can think hmm. of it as a dip, but okay. yeah. I just was expecting more like, I don't know, some sort of maybe like, uh, some like a vegetable of some with sort. Pork. Yeah, yeah, like a <laughs> tomato. Chutney maybe does a... sound like something. It does. No, but it's very fair. chutney uh, Indian food or is that yeah, yeah. Uh, English? Yes. Yep. No, English. Yes, sir. Oh, well. Uh, Indian, yeah. Now, speaking of Indian, we're, we're going to talk about American Indian movies. American Indian. Uh, and, um, yes. Different this type. Is, this is a. Uh, the a origin story of the Predator. So what? I loved your opening because you very on it. point. That, nailed it. You know, there are franchises and sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. I wouldn't consider this a direct sequel. You no. know what I mean? No. It's in well, the it's same... supposed to become, it's supposed to be like an origin story. A prequel. Right. A prequel. Right. 300 years ago. Fair. But I mean, it's not the same. It, okay. Hmm. Are, are we are we spoiling? No, no, no. no. Not to start, right? No, I, I okay. think sure. everyone Maybe knows that start. it's a this is a predator movie. Here, it's a predator movie. I, I have we, the the description. You want me to that's give it? Perfect. Sure. I'll if you've it. got it handy, let's yeah. start there. The origin story of the predator in the world of the Comanche Nation three hundred years ago. Naru, a skilled warrior, fights to protect her tribe against one of the first highly evolved predators to land on Earth. There, there you, you go. go. Okay. Yeah. So we're and, we're focused and, on a, a tribe in the late 1700s. Right. I didn't double check the math there, but I believe that's what we're talking Sounds about. about right. On the it's great on the Great Plan, a uh, Great Plains Indians. They're Comanche, right? Yep. Yep. Comanche Indian. Mm-hmm. Comanche. So, other than that, like creature coming into this story, there's no other tie to any of the other movies. Right. So no, I, and I'm not a huge Predator fan, so you guys correct me on this or, or educate me. Are, are they are the rest of them tied together like one to two? Is there like are there are there characters that carry over? Full disclosure, I've only seen I think the original and Alien versus Predator. OK, I know there are more. I know that there were more that I didn't see, so I can't necessarily speak to that. They were consistent to my knowledge to me the only consistency is you know the way they look they got this dreadlock they got that funky mouth mm-hmm. right and well, uh, they got that invisibility mandibles that's the thing you you take what works like you have this you know malleable storyline because mm-hmm. the creature is consistent it comes from another world yeah. it has like amazing technological weapons right and 
it's a hunter, it, right? It loves, it's here to just it's, test its hunting skills. It's very it translatable. Well. Sport hunting. It's going on a deer hunting mission. Yeah, yeah. and 50s. it's got some morals. But it's a bad hunter it, it because won't it's hunt not... you if you don't have a weapon. Right. But it, if you've it, got it has, a weapon, I don't know if it's so game. much morals as standards. I don't think it's morals because, I mean, at least around here... Uh, you know, you got to like eat what you hunt. Well, I think right. he's like a sportsman. Well, so, that's what I'm saying. So it's not so much morals as standards. He does keep a trophy. Yeah. He's not like, like a, a hunter. In, in one of the movies, we saw the spaceship and there was different animals that he had captured. And, yeah. And right. You know, right, an right, American right. hunter, trophy hunter goes out trophy. there. They're not going to just like randomly just blast away a rabbit that's like eating a flower in front of them. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because right. that doesn't make you feel accomplished. No. I get it. You no. want a grizzly bear charging at you. That's a story you can tell everybody. So, right? uh, so in that same vein, I don't think you can call this an origin story and that you don't get the creature's story. You get where he maybe, st- well, not he, he, she, we don't know all that. We don't know that much about his or her culture or where they came from. This is like the first time maybe that anyone knows it hit Earth. Right. right you don't get right. hit that creature's backstory and what right. his motivations are or You're whatever. Right. I'm just You're saying right. yeah. to clarify an origin story. It's okay. just a prequel in that it predates the other movies. Let, let's mention that this excellent movie so uh, is available free on Hulu. Hulu. Yeah, I mean, this one could have gone to the theater. I don't know how it would have done. What do you think? It was a short mm. movie. It's steep competition at the theater. You have to be like Hollywood back, back blockbuster. In the day, back in the day, yeah, probably not huge. But it probably made some... Because it's... Got some subscriptions on Hulu, I would imagine. The imagine. cachet of, of Predator is kind of down. I mean, that's been a while. Right, it's but been it, a it's while. literally... I believe it's 35 years since. Yeah, the, I was gonna uh, say. I was like, I had to dig back in the Rolodex of like, I know I saw that movie, but it's been yeah. literally decades. 1987. There you Get go. to the chopper. With Get to the chopper. Arnold. Right. What's an right. So obviously it had that one had the big cachet of Arnold. You know, I mean that's, that's Jesse the Body. Boom. They were all about you know mm-hmm. this is a blockbuster at that and, time. Yeah. Yeah. And that's 20th Century Fox. They've kept it. They also had a few Alien versus Predators. They also own the Alien series. Right, right. right. We're not yeah, counting those. We're not counting those in no, the five. But, the, but technically, some people say seven. Okay. I mean, there are okay. Seven. Fair. So Fair. 1990, Predator 2 with Danny Glover. He's that's a cop. Th- that's Did still good. Did not see that. Okay. 2010, Predators. Uh, they're on a planet, and uh, mm. they, they find out they land on a planet, and they're um, mm. They're the prey. Oh yes, is that, I is that Adrian that Brody in that yes. one? Yes. Yeah, that's a, oh, okay. That was a good they one. Had a lot of good actors I, on that one. I actually sure. liked it. It didn't get very good reviews, but I liked that one. I remember that. I one. also like the next one. Uh, it was kind of funny. 2018, The Predator with Olivia Munn. Remember that was. Like? I actually oh. thought that oh, yeah. was that got horrible reviews, and I thought like Olivia Munn, all of her jokes were funny and yeah. I, I really thought, liked it. I thought that was entertaining. Yeah. But uh, this Critics baby don't here. don't have to like it for you yeah, too. Prey, 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Uh, okay. Seven, right. In the seven something on IMDb. Yeah. And good. worth it. I would say. Absolutely. Not to spoil worth. my opinion, but yeah. Really good movie. And, worth the watch. And Hulu, now they actually have something that's like, it's never going to leave Hulu. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. If you want to watch it, so it's mm-hmm. it's like a there's a draw film. there. There's a draw. Ooh. Now they'll start collecting all the other Hulu, or I mean, all the other Predator alien movies possibly. Well, um, that comes back to the same old reasoning Maybe. of a subscription where you're like, back in the day or even now, like, what would you pay to rent this movie? Gosh, it's only like two dollars more to get a monthly subscription, and then I get all this other stuff too. Right, I'd second that. That it's totally worth it. So let's go Just around. Uh, what did what do you what do you like yeah. about it? What are some of the things? What are the factors? Uh, Many things. Right? Amber Mid Thunder. I did. Yeah. Love. She is Nehru. phenomenal. She is good. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, I have to say, with the makeup on, for the first twenty five minutes or or so. I thought it was Alita. I thought it was you her did. eyes are very striking, and it oh, it, yeah. it lends she to does, the, she does have the big eyes. I mean, I thought it was the actress, the makeup, who right? Alita is, and so great subplot here. I mean, besides the obvious plot of she discovers this 
you know, a predator and she tries to tell people and they don't know what the hell she's talking about, obviously. And the subplot is she's trying to get, I don't know, uh, credit for being a good hunter. Right. She wants to be a hunter where all the yeah. men are so, normally hunters. Right. You can yeah. understand. You it's, learn it's, in the first, like, couple of minutes of the movie, so non-spoiler, spoiler, but, like, her father is no longer around, so she's looking yeah. for validation in her tribe and from her older brother, and she's trying to be a hunter, and she works at her craft. She's got this hatchet that she's super good with. Let me, oh, yeah, let me just ask right. one question. Who, who's the old, uh, the war chief then? Is that, like, a grandpa or something like that? I don't know. You know, the one that the transferring power? Oh, I don't think it's it's. It doesn't necessarily need to be by related. Okay. It's a okay. community. Okay, yeah, so right. that so that I, I guess I didn't know that. I I I missed that her father is gone. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so just the mom and the two and the right, and that's like okay. a mini conversation guess, in like okay. the first couple of minutes of the movie. So. And it's a Comanche tribe. Yeah. She's actually a Sioux, a member of the Sioux tribe, which is awesome. And in I real mean, life. Uh, closely real... authentic. So I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but just, I mean, all that aside, her, she was very compelling. Oh, I yeah. Think that she was. She, she was, was the movie. I mean, she striking, was. Striking, compelling, yeah. all of these things. My favorite scene, I think, was her kind of like blade fight, let's call it, with the French trappers. Mm. Oh, yeah. She like had yeah. to go into their oh, camp. Yeah. And I don't need to spoil the plot, but that was maybe my favorite. There's a lot of sporadic violence in this which is i feel like yeah. consistent of the other predator movies too um, it was it was interesting because it was uh it it did have some very graphic violence right. at, at points you know but uh, most of the movie it's not was, constant was not very violent at all it was it, actually it, it beautiful was, right like especially beautiful at the scenery. beginning when they're you mm-hmm. know kind of entering and exiting the camp and you know they're showing scenes of them hunting in the woods and stuff in the mountains in the background beautiful. that struck me just that struck gorgeous. me Kelly. just beautiful um, on my 4k i'm watching this and i feel like i am on the right. comanche field back 300 years ago like yeah, they're just walking really slowly they show one person weaving yeah. and uh, showing yeah. different people that, and it really gave you a yeah. feel and was, I, I can't remember a movie um, I don't know dancing with the wolves dancing maybe with wolves. yes uh, so some people you know I dancing was literally with the wolves. gonna mention that uh, some people have a mentioned, new world uh, a new world oh, there you go. oh, oh yeah right that, that, good really good uh, Pocahontas uh, type one film. person said it had the realness of a revenant because it's all about mm. survival yeah mm-hmm. you know uh you know man versus mountain lion or bear or predator and, like you have to to dig into your roots for for what's gonna like land here what's gonna work in this situation like i love that they had to dig back down deep and every one of them did there's so many themes in this movie. What I liked well, about I let me tell you what yeah. i liked about the movie yeah what did you like about it? i liked the movie was it my turn what yet? i liked was Oh, was it your turn? No, no. I'm, oh, it's my I, turn. I was jumping. My in. turn is that, you know, it's a female power movie mm-hmm. without being a female power movie. They mm-hmm. they devised it where nothing was shoved in your face. Mm-hmm. She got all the credit. No, it seemed very natural. I mean, well, very it was, natural. It was shoved in your face in a way. I mean, oh, no, it, it, it was, was pretty easy. Bit, it was subtle in no. that, like all of the. Well, I mean, you know, she's a woman her male counterparts just happened to be doubted a woman. her, right? right. Like that she, part of it yeah. was obvious. Her her that, male counterparts, her brother barely doubted her because was, they're close. Yeah, there was no he, dialogue that said, you're a girl, you can't do this. Exactly. But, but they I mean, were so like, other, listen to me, come this way. Right, and it was all implied. We don't that, think that you're a good hunter. Right, it was, yeah. it, it was a lot of that implied sort of... You know, there was a scene where she decided to go searching for the predator, I believe. And Mm -hmm. she was walking against the grain of all the other women who went were going out in the morning. It was very suggestive. Yeah. To do all of their gathering, Mm -hmm. you know. And so I'm just saying I loved it. That whole aspect of it was right. Was phenomenal. I'm I'm not trying to. Say that what you're saying is wrong. I'm just saying that it wasn't that subtle. It wasn't. It wasn't that subtle, but it wasn't. It was done in a way that was not offensive. For yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. The other uh, thing yeah. that I loved loved about it, it it wasn't. You know, I mean, she's she is just a girl, and she's going against the predator who yeah. you've seen 
kill everybody in other movies too, right? And he's mm-hmm. and in this movie he's skinning animals and so forth, just like he has in other movies. But mm-hmm. I believe the French they said that the French skinned those. Oh no, he skinned the snake. Yes. The French skinned the oh, oh the, the buffalo. The cattle. Okay, right, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. A very violent bloody movie. Vertebrae. This is rated R. Um but you know it didn't spoiler feel, a, a yeah. little bit, there's a happy ending. Uh, okay. Uh, she's That's a spoiler. That's a big spoiler. Well, you know, Hollywood needs, you know, hey, she, we you, need a winner. Yeah, you can't end you, with you a gunshot to the head. You think she's going to get right. skinned? I don't think so. Well, yeah. I mean, that's not to say that there isn't tragedy and loss in this movie. So no, it's fair to say, like... Oh, there's a there's, lot. There's redemption, but there is... You, you got to get there. How do you like her dog? I, I love it. Love that's a... Uh, I love that dog. Oh, my gosh. An American dingo. Oh, is that oh, that's right? what it was. That's I thought that it was, was like a blonde um, lab- uh, Labrador. I was wondering about that. The dingo and not that ate your baby. They yeah. don't. They don't need to be entirely historically accurate. But I was wondering about that because he had clipped ears, and I was just mm. like, mm, "Would that be okay?" But a dingo but is a more common. Uh, if you take all the dogs in the whole world and breed them together, right. they will be a uh, a blonde. A uh, light brown dog with, you know, a, a nose certain length. Uh, Which is basic, why they're a, a running wild, around wild. Right. Yeah. A wild dog in India, for right, example, right. would be um, uh, the most typical dog. And anyway, so that that was, yeah, clipped, clipped ears. Oh, that's interesting. I did you read it, that the up. dog was extremely hard to wrangle to wrangle for this movie. Ooh. It was not a well-trained, oh. interesting. well-trained I dog. I wonder how he got the part. I don't, and, and he played an amazingly well-trained animal, right? I think it's I mean, because it was a, the perfect... They okay. had the perfect actor, visually, hmm. the dog, and they were like, we're I, gonna I make it work. I believed that's maybe the strongest connection in the movie hmm. and ex- completely believable. Sure. Because if it was too well-trained... Yeah, it, it would probably, seem like it's trained. Right. It's it would a, seem fake. It's a wild... Uh, Early American Indian yeah. girls' dog. Right. There's never mm-hmm. a scene where you you can kind of tell that the the trainers in the back going sit or, or yeah come. exactly. So, that's fair. So let me throw in just one tiny criticism. Sure. Okay. The dog was my favorite part. The relationship and everything about the dog was my favorite part. But the CG animals, like the oh. other oh, right. ones, you know. Okay. There was a couple like the wolf and the bear, you like, know, the, like the bear running mm-hmm. in particular. Now that I, not to interrupt, I agree totally with what you're saying. But having watched like um, RRR, I'm like now I'm kind of like I'm yeah. okay with it. Yeah, it doesn't detract too much from me. Right, I, it didn't ruin I, I the can, movie. I can tell it's it's really well drawn. I mean, yes, mm-hmm. you can see it's not real. You know, I don't know what it is that they could do to make that look really legit. To be fair, I was watching it on a 120 inch screen. It looked pretty good. They look very good. I'm telling you, like. But you can tell. I know what you're saying. It's a matter of the. Okay, so all of the details of the expression and the fur and even like Mm -hmm. the whites of their eyes and the pupils of their eyes, all of that was phenomenally perfect it was more in the movement it was okay. like the weight of the bear like as mm. it was running its mm. gait right and like how it hit the ground yeah. that i was like oh, humans are very hard real. to fool that's why right you know yeah it was you, it was good i'm just saying there was a couple have, of moments could that they I was have like, increased the budget and, that's a and made CG it better animal. but it i think they put so, a lot of thought into it it was so fleeting i mean i, I wonder if they were actually minor criticism nervous about you know, when you're making a movie like this, is it going to be a flop? Is it going to be great? You know, maybe hindsight, if they knew it was going to have great reviews. Right. They, they would may have, have like dumped in that yeah, a little extra. smidge extra on mm. the budget. Maybe. Uh, you know, who knows how that went down. Uh, director Dan Trachenberg, he did 10 Cloverfield yeah, that, Lane. Yeah, that's his last movie, 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is like six years ago. Wait, maybe maybe longer than that. He's been working on this movie for six years. That's what I had written well, down. Well, to me, I can see that. I could see that. It really felt to me that this was a well thought out movie. Yeah. Now that what he that's was why it surprised me when there was a a problem. You know, they spoke English a lot, right? Oh. Mm, I know. And there was yeah. a one scene in where the French and her were talking to each other. She right. Said, well, that's inconsistent because. They would not be able to understand each other. Well, and it was like, if you, I'm sorry, 
Don, go ahead. No, I was going to say, it, I think that particular French person made note that he happened to be somewhat different and and be and was able to communicate. Oh, he, he said he, I, he said I speak, I speak a, a bunch languages. of languages. Oh, I forgot Which about that. It, he did okay. say that. And then to me the, it was sort of like it was like this sort of uh just a convenient way to make you not have to read subtitles. Exactly. I was like, you have to just buy that and swallow it because yes, if you were going to be completely authentic in this, they should have been speaking like a native tongue. They were the so time. successful. They oh, may t- come Dave's, out one. Dave's with, got a great. They uh, might come out bit. with one that is Comanche. Okay. Let me tell you, Bill. I will tell you the story. Here it is. This movie is. You can actually watch it right now. It's completely dubbed in Comanche. Oh, already. Okay. And the actors actually did Speak. every line in in, in, in English tongue. and in Comanche. Yeah. So it's the real actors. Oh, I never heard that. So it's like. The best dub you can get. Sure. Ooh. Right. So, so it's, now the mouths won't be perfect, but at least it would be the actual actor doing their own voice. Wow, right. That's, right. That, that's authentic. Now, what they could have done, which would have been probably the best um, use of a different language going into English, would be Inglorious Bastards. Mm. Where Do you remember okay. that? Where Christian, Christian Waltz is sitting at the table Mm. In the farmhouse with uh, the yes. guy, and the he, French he says in German in subtitles, he said, "I would like to start speaking English now." Oh, okay. And yeah. then they just started speaking English. Yeah, to practice or something yeah. like that. Although, I, are we assuming that these guys really actually knew English, or is this well, just a is this just a technique? Wise, I don't that I don't know that, that it would have been common at that point. No, I, I don't think that's accurate. So that but was, again, yeah. it's it's digestible. You, yeah, you right. You, you want to watch it. It's not. Right. This was made for a younger audience. It wasn't the Northmen. Yeah. Didn't one of you even say like some of their terminology seemed to be too modern? That was that was Beth. She was going. Oh, okay, okay. Beth made a comment that on... they had actually had like. You know, really up to date. Yeah, uh, how they were. T- I forget what the ter- what it was. It's just sort of a phrasing that we use yeah. now, hmm. more of a, 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 a modern Fair. vernacular. I, I did note that like yeah. the yeah. linguistics were not historically accurate. Right. And I, I challenged myself for a French scene because I thought that might come up in this mm. review because I I'm a. But I think I enjoyed it more. Just it was like yeah. Like they're translating it so we can it's know what they're talking about. The French was pretty raw, like not, yeah, you know, clean French? Francais French. Like it was more f- kind of French Canadian, a little bit gritty. I okay. challenged myself to try to like figure out what they were saying because I thought that might come up. Did, did you do it? Yeah. I mean, like, so I jotted they didn't down put like a subtitles, scene. Subtitles, right? No. And oh, actually, excellent. even when you turned on subtitles, it was in French. Okay, oh, so right. it wasn't right. They were like purposefully not telling you what they said. Right, right? so that was good oh. for me. Oh, so good. The, that like scene where they first catch her and okay. uh-huh. like have her in a cage or yeah. whatever. Yeah. The guy comes up and he like is poking at her and mm-hmm. he said something to the effect of like I'm gonna kill her. And the other guy came up and was like, No, she can help us. And then the other guy came up and they had that conversation that oh. was like, No, I speak a lot of language. Blah blah blah. And then. He backed up and then sh- he took out her brother from the other cage. So okay, she yep. learns that. Mm-hmm. And he said, like, one way or another, you're going to help us. Mm. Oh, okay. It was something to that wow. effect. And then it was something about bleeding him. Like, Ugh. gonna bleed it. And that came up again in English. So I was validated. Oh, that was she it. was okay. like, You bled my brother. I'm going to bleed you. So okay. I was like, ah, that, I caught that. Uh, I remember. That was the vernacular. They, she said, Bleed out. Oh, bleed out. Mm. Oh, you're right. That was what uh, Beth caught. There you go. She's like, you're, you're they not don't talk like that. People, people don't yeah. say bleed out back then. Right. Um, and then like Maybe. when they Maybe. had them set as bait, I was like, that was the other scene I challenged myself on. So they okay. said something about horses, the French trappers guys. So I'm assuming they were like, shoot, we should have had horses around. Okay. Which that came back because mm-hmm, definitely mm-hmm. an advantage when you're dealing with a predator. And then they were like, shut up. I don't know, like, shut your mouth. Otherwise, he's not going to come. Because mm. they were like baiting him. And then the okay. guy was like, oh, where are you? Why aren't you coming? Because I'm hungry and I have to piss. <laughs> I caught that. And then, oh, really? Yeah. And then they turn around and see the guys that are like dead. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, guess because they see 
people like, what happened here? Mm. And then he says, Merit, which is shit. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so, but who knows? 300 years ago, they might they might have still said fucking shit. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so I feel like to. that was yeah. at least a little bit accurate. So no, if, that's good. And and it goes to the movie and how we were saying it's it seemed, ac- you know, period accurate. Right. And yeah, you know, I was making I, a point there, of doing everything, that. all their tools, yeah. all the things that they and did, and costumes too. Yeah, yeah everything. Yeah. Yeah. Presence, no, right. appearance. How they, how they, uh, in the beginning, they show them uh, foraging for food. Yes, they and, found like uh, a, the way that they hunt, like a sweet potato, and what they carry right. on them. How she carried the rabbits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she got a sweet potato. That um, was right. Every, even the tools Yum. that she made uh, with her axe and the the rope. That was great. I love that. Uh, that was all realistic. She could have done that. Yeah, when she was throwing that against that, the uh, the tree, yeah, that was, that cool. was wow. spectacular. It got to be like crazy good. I mean, she would just whip that thing back right back to her hand. The I mean, sound. Were you playing it in your? Oh in yeah, your, oh, it sounded. It so was good. good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. her. Oh, like, and the quicksand scene. Move. So that's another thing that. Oh like, my god! Oh, the bog. The like overarching. Mud bog. I love the moments of suspense of this. Like they did a very good job of of kind of like thrills and lulls yeah i forgot about that Mm -hmm. you know where you're oh man she misses like several times yeah like like, last one it was like becoming a a family guy thing where it's going (laughs) so long like she's about to drown and uh finally finally she she hooks and she was really in some mud that looked so authentic. It really Literally. did. Yeah, I could feel it. She I could got, smell it. She Felix. got cleaned oh, up yeah. pretty fast. I mean, there was a time lapse there, I'm sure. She fell into fine. a water, I yeah. think is how they She's addressed been, that mm-hmm. eventually. So oh, it's no, constant no, action. But no, it's, actually, it's, she uh, got to the side of the river, mm, oh, and yeah. she was actually washing her bow. Oh, yeah. yeah. She washed everything. And, and her, her, uh, her axe as well. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was impressive. I love that part of it. And mm-hmm. also... Uh, Violent and action, but not so much action that you fall asleep. Uh, we were talking about yeah. Ambulance, uh, the movie back when, uh, right. uh, that had so much action you almost like get you get numb, numb oh, to I it, right? Right. I was Whereas like, How this, is that this had the ups and downs, but it was never a down. No, it, it had uh, quiet maybe five moments. minutes or eight minutes, maybe, and then you're back to action again. Right. right. You need that to jolt yes. you back. Right. Mm-hmm. That's so, what I mean. Lulls so it's and a thrills. It's it was a, it was very a very well. well balanced story told. Well paced. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had all those. Yes. Good techniques of storytelling and, and movie then making. You had these other elements that, again, were subtle, but like well played in gender roles. You had a sibling. Yeah. Oh. Like, you know, bond that, right, and that, that was always speaks well to so mm-hmm. many of us. Really mm-hmm. genuine. And, and, mm-hmm. and, and it, you know, he was her uh, biggest, uh, you know, fan. Hero yeah, and hero. fan. Mm-hmm. Both. He, he, yeah. I love the, the connection between those two. That really was. Also very believable. Very poignant. It was all very yes. believable. Yes, yeah. yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Um, so Amber Mid-Thunder, she's done quite a bit of work and in, in a lot of other series and right. things like that. Yeah. So uh, I but think you're going to keep seeing her. This is supposed to be her breakout. So, well, you know, she's headlining. Headliner. I think, yeah. And she carried it. She did such a great yeah. job. Great. I can't. She was Again. always serious. I mean, you just believed in her. How about uh, a round robin of grades maybe or mm-hmm. or a thumbs up, thumbs down? Right. How are we doing it sure. now? Uh, I don't know. We. I'm going to go ahead and say like three thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Bill? There you go. Uh, Friday night. Friday night. Yeah, definitely go. Friday night. I movie. love right. it. Yep. Yeah, enthusiastic. Recommend. Yeah, definitely. Love it. Thumbs up. Like I said in the open, to me, it was my favorite of all of them, actually. You know, yeah. considering that you'd have to rewatch them, maybe not The Predator the first time you saw it, probably well, would be above it, but and with I'm, Arnold. I maybe mentioned yeah. that like the CG was just a smidge weak on an animal for a second, but yeah, yeah. they didn't spare any expense with the predator. Like, so that was part of compelling yeah, things too, right, like his, right. his, you know, technology and weapons yeah, yeah. and right. things that he whipped out. It was all that good classic predator stuff. The his predator, invisibility. It was on point. 
yeah. on point. But the Predator stuff seemed to be like the smaller part. They really wanted to do this it Comanche the tribe. They did, yeah. Right, right. You know? And that's yeah. what I think helped make it maybe for you, I don't I can't say for sure, but better than the others because it was better drama. You know, yes. I mean the original is like an Arnold movie, but you know, I know I know Bill is is a huge a super fan. Oh yeah. No, but this... we know that he's a little bit, you know, not not hokey, but just a little bit less um, authentic or yeah, he's maybe, all uh, popcorn. This was popcorn. Yeah. So authentic, though, it almost felt like the future versus the past. You're talking about yeah. like human oh, roots totally. and like you know the prey and predator. This How is, is it even literal possible that roots. They could, that they could come up with this a way so to win. It, it was so well made that I think you could actually. Uh, it would still be a great movie if you changed the predator with any other type of. Mm. Villain, mm. you know, mm. you wouldn't even have sure. to have Predator. You could have, right? You know, just, thrown just, anything in there. I don't know what. Right, uh, another type of monster, some type of some boogeyman. Sort of, right. This has got a great ending where you just go, yes, against yeah. the odds, against the odds, the entire time. Mm-hmm. There is some tragedy, but ultimately, oh yeah, a lot of yeah. tragedy. So, Boom. all right, there you go. That's Standing it. O for prey. Check it out on Hulu. Standing O for prey. Yeah, standing O. There you totally, go. Subscribe. Totally overwhelmed. YouTube. Yeah, yeah there you if go. If you're listening to this podcast, which only maybe three of you are, please come to... Uh... That was a long one. We were excited. Yeah, please come to... Uh... 35 minutes. YouTube. Hmm. That's where the action is. There you go, yeah. Go to YouTube, subscribe to... Well, it's kind of fun. I mean, obviously, if you're listening to this and you're hearing it Oh, there's a YouTube channel? Well, you've heard the whole show, but maybe you'd like to see what we look like in action. There you go. The close-ups of Bill, close-up no, of Don. No, Kelly, you want to look at Kelly? Kelly. <laughs> product placement. We yeah. have uh, we have little Godzilla got, figures. Every week we're putting on a new hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe what kind of T-shirt is Dave wearing today? Black what, as classic usual. Classic black. Classic. Back in black. <laughs> so, there you go. All right. Until next time, goodbye. Ten four over and out. See you, boys. Later.